Good morning. It's always something. So some other stuff I got to talk about, right? T-Mobile. T-Mobile, along with my family or who, whoever else, Templar niggas, I don't really fucking know. But everybody always doing some faggot ass illegal fuck shit. And everybody need they fucking skull cracked wide the fuck open for fucking around with me and my fucking money. So apparently my contract with T-Mobile expired a while ago. But these cum swallowers ain't saying nothing to a nigga. So earlier I log into my account. And I see a name that I am not associated with. I see Misty Jones. I don't know who the fuck Misty Jones is. Done looked up Misty Jones. Found out where Misty Jones lives. All type of shit. I don't know who the fuck Misty Jones is. But they keep putting this bitch name on my motherfucking shit. All I'm saying is, yo, if, if niggas gave up my number and my account. My nigga, where's my fucking money? That's what I want to know. Where the fuck is my money at? Where's my money? Because I don't understand why y'all doing this bum shit. Simple as that. Like I said, there's always some stupid shit. The other thing I want to talk about while I'm sitting in my car. The infinity that I had. Now that shit's been gone. Going on two years now. But I remember two years ago when I got it. The faggot ass op nigga. From Bridgeport that live in my building. I asked this pussy ass nigga to drive the car for me to the mechanic. Biggest mistake that I made. Cause I remember him telling me stories about how he used to quote unquote when he was quote unquote younger, knowing goddamn well he's still doing that shit now. But I remember him telling me stories about how he used to wild out on the road and he used to do all type of stupid shit. I remember he told me a story one time about how he was in the car with his mans. When his mans flipped the car, the nigga lied. He was the one driving and he was wilding. And he did some stupid shit on the road and he flipped the car and one of his peoples died. And him and the other dude that went to the hospital. Residual energy and that shit is that shit is dangerous. He trans basically he transferred those same demons and devils that was chasing him. Them same demons and devils that was on his car whenever he was on the road and people seen that shit. He transferred that shit from him to my infinity. That's why when I started driving my infinity, all that stupid shit started happening because nobody had keys to my shit but me. When I started driving it, when I had it registered and I was driving it, that's when niggas had fucked with my transmission. And when I brought it to the Spanish nigga in East Hartford, he called himself Hova some shit. I got the pictures, the address. All that shit of where it was at. Them niggas been cleared out from that spot. But when I was when I when I brought my shit there, that's when them niggas had made copies of my my, my keys. It's like damn near every V I had since like 2015, niggas made copies of the fucking keys. The final straw for me with that infinity is I like I would go to work. Both my jobs. Come home. Get up in the morning. Look out the window. 
my car isn't parked the way I fucking left my car in my parking spot. Number three, to make it clear, because the third parking spot is mine. The final straw was I woke up one morning because the nigga, the nigga fucked up my power steering pump too. So the final straw for me was when I got up one morning and I looked out the window and I seen a big ass dent on my passenger side quarter panel. I'm like, no, excuse me, not the quarter panel. Passenger side right fender. Passenger side is the right side. The passenger side fender. I seen a big ass dent on the fender. Like motherfuckers couldn't turn all the way and they rubbed up against something or they smacked something. Like that shit pissed me off. That's when the sh cause by then I just, just like I don't even want to drive this shit no more. So when it got towed the morning, it got towed. And my neighbor downstairs was calling me and texting me. That's why I just I just went outside. I had shit in the trunk, everything. I couldn't even get the shit out the trunk. I just gave the dude the key and the title, like, yo, just I don't even give a fuck no more. Just do what you're gonna do. Feel me? Like my god brother used to say, man. You can't have shit in America. It's the truth. Every fucking time you get some motherfuckers gonna touch, 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 touch. My nigga, why are you always touching my shit for? It? Like, what is wrong with y'all motherfuckers? Like, seriously, what is wrong with y'all motherfuckers? If it ain't a vehicle, motherfuckers touching my other shit. If it ain't other shit in my vehicle, it's my phones. Niggas touching my phones. And if it ain't none of that shit, it's my fucking name. None of you motherfuckers is Camelo Giddings, bruh. None of y'all is me. Since everybody want to be me so much, and everybody want to use my name so much, remember this. Always remember this. My cock is firmly planted in your esophagus. Since y'all motherfuckers want to be me. Deadass. And I said what I said. And whoever don't like it, go suck the piss out of your mother.